Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I'm sitting in the middle of the park. I'm gonna try to talk a little loud because there's like a waterfall by me, so I'm not sure if you can hear me. I literally just sat here for like almost an hour writing this. So if you don't know already by the title of this video, I am filming a 20 things I've learned in 20 years because my birthday is in one week. Number one is put yourself first and love yourself. Like self-love is so very important and I cannot stress this enough that you need to put yourself first and your needs, your wants, your everything first because at the end of the day you're left with yourself and you need to put yourself first and love yourself. Number two, don't take shit from anybody. Anybody, don't take shit from anybody. That is a huge thing because I used to be, you know, one to take one after another at this and that, um, but I've learned since I've graduated high school, um, I ain't taking shit from nobody. So, yeah. Number three, don't be ashamed of what you like and like your interests, your, thing, your favorite things to do, whatever. Don't be ashamed of it. Number four, take every chance you get because you only have one life. And I've learned this a lot because years ago, I used to be afraid to do things. I used to be afraid to take a chance because I, I don't know, I just, I was always afraid, but ever since I graduated high school, I've always been kind of like, I'm just going to do this and that, you know, I'm just going to take a chance, I'm going to go for it. And I have, and literally it's been worth it every single time. Number five, follow your dreams and live the way you want to. This is a huge one for me because, again, I'm talking about graduating in high school again. Um, because before I graduated high school, you know, I told everyone, there's a bug on my camera. I told everyone my plan and how I want to move to California, and I don't want to go to college here, I don't want to live here, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people didn't agree with my decision, and a lot of people tried to tell me to take classes and to um, go to college here, and I'm wasting my time, blah, blah, blah. You know, I had a lot of negativity about my decisions, and sometimes I still do. But I think about it and it's like, this is what I want, this is my dream. I am not going to listen to anybody else because it's my life. And I'm not going to live in other people's footsteps or I'm not going to live a life other people want me to live. Um, it's my dream and I'm going to go for it and it's the way I want to live, so that's what I'm going to do. And I encourage everyone to follow that advice because if you don't follow your dreams or at least try, you'll never know and you'll regret it the rest of your life. So, yeah. Number six, it is okay to be different. Like. Growing up and stuff, like as I'm getting older, I realized I'm very different from a lot of people. I am not a typical 19 year old. I'm not typical, I'm not a typical person. I'm very different <laughs> and that's okay. Everyone has their unique personalities and their unique things about them and you just have to embrace what's different about you. Number seven, time heals everything and Sometimes it takes longer than others, or it takes longer than what you expect, and there's bugs keep going around my camera. Time does heal everything, and you know, I'm still healing from a lot of things that happened almost a year ago for me, but it just takes time. It's not gonna just heal overnight because that particular thing didn't happen overnight. You know, sometimes you can move on or get over something quickly. So other times, other times, it, will take longer and you just have to be patient. Number eight, spontaneous adventures are the best adventures. Number nine, be kind to everyone. All right, okay. be kind to everyone um, because you don't know what that person's going through. Um, the person next to you could be dealing with some really, really tough shit and you have no idea. Like the last six years of my life, not a lot of people know my situation, not a lot of people know what I've gone through, and most of my friends had, had no idea and still don't know to this day of like how bad things were in my life and how bad I was hurt and how much I was dealing with stuff and there's a bee flying around. But yeah, someone sitting next to you could be going through the worst time of their life or just really going through some tough stuff. So number 10, go on solo trips. If you didn't know, I talk about this way too much. I love talking about this. I will probably forever talk about this. Of uh, the fact that when I was 18 years old, I flew across the country and went to California all by myself on a solo trip. Didn't know anyone out there. And I spent a whole week out 
it all by myself and I loved every second of it. And it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. And I always encourage people that haven't done that or whatever to do it at least once in a lifetime. Go on a solo trip, go somewhere you've always wanted to go and experience life. You learn a lot about yourself and you have this great experience that only you have and you can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to compromise with anybody. So every time I talk about California or anything, I always talk about it and tell people to just do it. But it was, a lot of people have not done it or don't have the guts, but man, I was scared, but I did it. And it was the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. Number 11, live with no regrets. For the longest time in my life when I was in high school, I had one huge regret, and it was about a stupid boy that I have not talked to in I don't know how many years, but here's a story. Back in like seventh grade, yeah, I was like 12. I don't know why I obsessed over this so much. I was 12 up until I was like, what, 14 or 15, and I regretted this so much, the fact that like, this boy asked me out when I was 12. I rejected him, and then it was like, a month later, then I started to like him, and then I was too scared to go up to him and talk to him and ask him if he still liked me, and I lived with that regret for like years, and like I, we were still friends, and I always had hope that he liked me, I always thought he still liked me, because he would always mess around with me and kind of like pick on me, and like, you know, how boys do when they like some girl. I was stuck on that regret for the longest time, and now I'm just like, it is what it is, I mean, it happened. I mean, what can you do about it? So it's just like, live with no regrets, things happen out of your control. It's fine, you'll get over it. Number 12. This might be backwards, I don't know. No, 12. <laughs> Number 12. Don't settle for anything less than what you deserve. Keep waiting for that person and don't settle for anything less than what you deserve because you just everyone deserves the world and if someone can't give that to you, then they shouldn't be with you. That's all, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Number 13. <laughs> Number 13 is kick anxiety's ass. Number 14, number 14, heartbreak hurts like fucking hell, but you will survive it. Like, last year, last, the end of July of last year, I honestly was, it was the worst time of my entire life, the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. I was physically in pain, even though I was not hurt, like, physically. I could physically feel myself hurting. It was like the worst time of my life, all this stuff happened, and I was scared for my safety at one point. So... It was a really, really, really bad heartbreak, and I honestly didn't think I was going to survive it or get through it because I was super scared of what was going to happen to me. So, you know, as time was on, time went on, and things did get better, and things have gotten better. And yes, a lot of things still affect me from last summer, but I survived it. I got through it. It might have taken a long time, and I'm still dealing with it. I'm still taking, you know, time to deal with it and stuff but I'm surviving it. I've come out from it. Like I've survived the heartbreak of the situation. Number 15, just because you're blood does not mean you're family. And this means a lot because just because we are blood related, just because we are blood related, Jesus, just because we're blood related does not mean we're family. I have friends that are more like family to me than my actual family so it's you know it's just it's one of those expressions that you might be related to someone but friends can also be more like family than your actual family and that is what I, i've learned that a lot in my 20 years of living number i can't do this anymore number 16 is stand up for what you believe in number 17 it's the little things in life that mean the most like literally i like, if you just look at the, like, the little things in life, I can't even think of anything at the moment, but, like, the smallest things in life make me the happiest. And that's, I've learned that, like, just little things people do or little things that happen mean the most to me. Number 18, surround yourself with positive people and people who support you. If you have someone in your life who doesn't support something you do or doesn't support you with a certain thing or your mental health or whatever it is, they... They do not belong in your life at all. Number 19, change can be scary, but it's also worth the risk. Like, I'm not a huge fan of change at all, 
definitely not. I, I, once I get into a comfort zone, I don't like to get out of it a lot of times. But I've learned to take risks and go out of my comfort zone and to change. You know, I'm, I still struggle with it, but you don't have to change everything all at once. But little changes here and there, you know, it's always worth it. And, you know, you can experience life that way. And number 20, yeah, number 20, um, make every moment count. You don't know how long you're going to be on this earth. You don't know how long your friends, your family, the people you love are going to be here. So make every moment count with them, with yourself, with everything you do. Make it count. Make every moment worth it. Oh my gosh. Basically, that is the end of this video. Um, those are 20 things I have learned in 20 years. I'm still learning a lot. These are just some 20 things that I came up with. Um, definitely not all of the things I've learned, but quite a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!